Hi, my name is Ross Heinskill, and this is the first of what I hope will be many videos in which I will try to explain fairly simple Office skills. Today is going to be looking at opening and saving a Word document. So let's say you've got a document, any document, in real life. You write something down on a piece of paper, and then you want to store it. You want to keep it somewhere safe. A logical first guess is a filing cabinet. You put the piece of paper in there, and it stays there. You know where to find it later, and you know it's going to be safe. Your computer is a lot like a filing cabinet. While it can do lots of other things, none of which we're going to go into now, one of the things it does is store documents. Kind of a cool thing that computers can do that a normal filing cabinet can't is take a folder, put a folder inside that folder, and maybe put a folder inside that folder. Really, you can just keep doing this as many times as you want. Now don't worry, we're not going to go into file structure right now. I just want to point out what your computer is capable of doing, and why it's pretty neat to write documents on your computer. So, let's take a look at a Word document. Here's a document that I wrote up very quickly. It has no importance at all. And it doesn't matter if a document is empty or if it's got text in it. You can save it the same. I just put text here so we have something to look at. So, take the document that you want to save, come up here, and press the Office button. Now, if you're dealing with a different version of Windows, you'll have a different button there. It'll say File. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and press the Office button, and if you've got the other version of Windows, press File. Scroll down to Save As, and you'll see that a pop-up appears of the several different formats that you can save the document in. We're going to ignore this for now. I will explain it later. But for now, just press the button that says Save As. Here we have our file structure. Now, the file structure is a neat little thing. It tells you your favorite places to save things. It tells you your libraries you could save it in. It tells you all sorts. What we're going to do here is keep it really simple. We're going to go into My Documents and scroll down to a folder I made for this, My Very Important Documents. Double click on that, and we find other documents in that folder. We've got My Resume. Now, if we come down here, we'll see that there's an option to save as a type. If you click that, there are many different formats that you can save your document in. We're going to ignore most of them. I do want to show you that if you press that button, you see all of the files in that folder that are of that same file type. So we have three that are the Word document for Windows 7, and we have one that's for, for other versions of Word. We'll go ahead and save this as felines and boxes. This is where you save the name of the file. It's really important that you choose something you'll remember later. Sometimes, if you're going to be writing many things that are going to be similar, you can put the date. Today's date is the 15th. This helps keep it in alphabetical order and time order. For now, we're just going to name it Felines and Boxes, because that's what it's about. Type it in here, come down here and press Save. You've got a save document. Now, obviously, this is only as useful as it is being able to find that document when you need it some other time. Let's say you want to add anything. You have to be able to open the document as well. So, let's open up Microsoft Word, and here we have a blank Office document. There's nothing here. If we go back up to this button, the Office button, or the File button for other users of different versions of Word, and press Open. Here again is our file structure. We could select any one of the favorite places or frequent places over here, but again, we're just going to keep it simple and go down to My Very Important Documents. Now you'll see that now that you're not selecting any particular format, you see all the files that are in there. This right here tells you which documents will show, what types of documents will show. So if you click that, you can select only text files, which in this case there are none, so there's nothing there. But what we saved it as was a document. Nope, as a docx. Here's our document, Felines and Boxes. We remember that that's the title. It wasn't any of the other ones. It was this one. Click it come down here and press open, or you can double click it. It opens up, and we're able to edit it however we want. 
Now let's say that we're working on our document. We make changes to it. Let's say we make the title bold and the header smaller. Now we say, great, now I want to save this. I have to go. I want to make sure I can come back to it later. You don't have to do the same process we just did. All you have to do is come up to the Office button, press it, and click Save. It's already on your computer. It's already got a file name. You don't need to save as once that's been done. If you need to change the name of the file, you can go back up here and save as again, but now you'll have two copies and you'll need to remember which one you edited last. The easiest thing to do is just keep pressing save every time you're done. You'll notice on this version of Word that there's also a small disk right here. That's a shortcut. It's also saving. Control S does the same thing. All right, I said we'd go over format and what that is. Pretty simply, the format of any document is simply the language that the document is written in. Different computer programs speak different languages, and the format tells the computer what language it's in, or what program is going to be needed to open that document. So when a computer is told, open this document, it looks at the abbreviation that follows the period after the name, and from that it knows what program it'll need to open it. You've probably seen dot .doc, dot .doc, docx, .rtf, those are text related, and depending on what you've told your computer to do with those, it'll either open up Microsoft Word or to open another program. .jpg, .gif, .png are all image related. .mov, .m4a, and many others are movie related. So that's all that format is. And typically, if you're saving a Word document, .doc, .docx, and .rtf are all fine. You don't have to worry about it too much. .docx is sometimes not readable by some computers. .doc is readable by almost every computer out there. But generally, when you save your document, Word will offer you something to save it as. It'll automatically give you .docx or .doc. It's not that big of a deal. So let's wrap up. We've got save as. This is the first thing that you do to save a document. This gives the file a name, and it tells the computer where you want that file stored, so that you can find it later. After you've done that, after the file has a name, all you need to do is save. That just tells the computer to update the file that's already there with the changes that you've made to it. And lastly, which format? That's again, just telling the computer what to expect from that file and what program to use to open it. That's it. Saving and opening a Word document. I hope it's helped you.